So to start out with, um, just use whatever foundation you want to use. Today I'm going to be using uh, Lancome's Dang Idol Ultra Wear. Uh, this is like their new one. Um, and I'm also mixing it with the Dior Star. And the reason I'm doing this is because this one, you can probably tell from the packaging, this one is slightly more pink and this is slightly more yellow. Uh, but they're both um, kind of like in the same tonal range right there. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you mix both the pink and the slight, the slightly more pink with the slightly more yellow, you get this really pretty kind of peachy shade. I know that NCT uses, uh, their makeup artist uses Dior Star on them, and that foundation is really good for reflecting lights off the skin. It's more of like a more moisturizing foundation, so I'm kind of surprised because, you know, they're out there dancing on stage and everything. And that new uh, Lancome foundation is more on the long wearing side, uh, only because uh, I do have more oily skin. So you take it down the neck. I'm also using a flat foundation brush today because sometimes when you use formulas like um, this one right here that are more long wearing, um, maybe it's just me, but sometimes I can get heavy handed with it and I end up putting too much and it will look thick and heavy on the skin. So I feel like using a flat foundation brush helps control the amount that I actually put on the skin. Uh, you see the little white bristles on here? Well, they're not white anymore. But um, you can kind of use that. That's really where you're supposed to put the foundation on the brush. You don't necessarily have to dig the whole brush into the foundation when you're putting it on. Uh, kind of just keep it on that white part and then use the whole brush to blend it out on the skin. And then I'm going to use uh, concealer to conceal anything that I have left on the skin. First, I'm going to use the liquid side. So right here. the center of the face to brighten. And this will add a little bit more coverage. And then I'm going to use the stick side to conceal my dark circles. The outer corners right here where it can get kind of dark and red, and then a little dark spot that I have there, as well as around my nose. This look is going to be completely focused on the eyes and the lips, and I don't want I don't really want anything else going on in the face, but uh, with my whole face all even in one color, I do want to add a little bit of dimension without it looking like, you know, I have like contour or bronzer on. So I'm going to use a cream contour stick before I set my foundation. So you can take whatever cream contour product you have, or you can feel free to use your powder once um, after you powder your face, of course. Same thing with my nose. Now of course I need to set everything. I'm going to use a loose powder with a powder puff. I want the skin to look super soft and velvety matte. I don't want any shine on the face. Big my fucking face with this earring. <laughs> Alright, so next uh, are the eyebrows. Now I want the brows to be really filled in and bushy. So to do that, I'm gonna start out with a powder to kind of fill in a lot of the empty gaps. With the shape, you can do whatever shape you want. Do 
you see the difference between the two? It's still not in a good shape, but it's definitely more filled out looking. Now I'm gonna use an actual pencil to um, kind of finalize it and create like the fake brow hairs, I guess, and to give it uh, more shape. You really want to blend out any harsh edges because even if you do have, have like really defined brows, you don't want there to be any uh, harsh lines because that's what's going to make it look um, unnatural. And then finally I'm going to brush some brow color through the brow hairs to make sure they actually match the color that I filled them in with. They look strong now, but with the rest of the makeup, they will all kind of work together. The eyeshadow is going to be really easy. It's just going to be all mattes, uh, kind of caramely reddish brown shades. So I'm going to use this palette from uh, 3CE because it has all the colors I would need in. It's a really good palette for every day. I don't know what I want to start with. I think I'm going to start out. Let me put down the main color first, and then we can build around it. So I'm going to go into this color right here. It's a kind of burnt orange shade. That's gonna go on the mobile lid. So you wanna stop where your crease is. Or if you have a mono lid, then you can just, uh, when you open your eyes, you can stop it to really wherever you want, uh, up to maybe where you can see it. And roughly blend out the edge. And then I'm gonna take this color right here, um, and I'm gonna place that kind of on the outside here. And also taking it onto the lid. So it's kind of coming around here. You really don't have to be precise about this. The whole point of this look is to, for it to be really blown out. Kind of adding just like a ring of warmth around your eyes. This will look really pretty on uh, if you're wearing like blue eye contacts or if you have blue eyes. I'm taking that first brush I used and kind of diffusing the color. This is a really simple, quick eye look. Uh, it actually makes it really good for every day as well. So after making sure um, this my little blending brush is all the pigment is off, you can really just take whatever color that's uh, kind of like these colors right here, anything that's just lighter, uh, so you can blend out the edge of the colors that we just applied. I'm gonna mix these two shades here. Just use those to kind of blend out that edge, and don't be afraid to take it up to the brow bone. It actually will look a lot prettier, uh, or will look really pretty if you take it to the brow bone. And again, if you have mono lids, you obviously don't have to take it up that high. But I think because I have um, hooded eyes and my brow bone is quite low, I can do that. But uh, you can just adapt this to whatever. This is one of those looks where you're really just adding brown shades to your eyes. You can just adapt it to your eye shape with the colors and uh, to match your skin tone and all that. I'm gonna take the first shade that we were using, the kind of burnt orange. I'm gonna take it a little bit higher because I felt like I feel like I over blended it. And then the second shade. Just reinforcing those colors again. And you can take whatever's left on the brush and run that on the lower lash line. Just so that it all ties together. You can take it down as low as you want and as far in as you want into the inner corner. And just as a final blend, I'm going to take this cream shade on the corner use that to, or you can just use your face powder if it has pigment in it to kind of blend off the edge. And I want to keep this look really simple, so I'm not going to use any eyeliner, but I am going to use a uh, brow, not brow, uh, mascara. This is apparently always sold out in Korea, so I actually had to buy this at the airport before I left for Chicago, and it's the O oh, My Lash from Etude House, and it's just, it's really just, a, they call it a Sengor Kara, which Sengor means like bare face. And it's really popular because it's a lash tint, but it pretty much just makes your eyelashes look better than they normally are. I used it on my friend Tony, and he like literally took one of them for me. <laughs> Cause it adds just enough definition to your eyes. Like, do you see the difference between the two eyelashes? It's like super subtle. In natural, but it adds enough impact. I've been using this like every day as like my regular mascara because you guys know for me, I've always just been into using uh, 
mascara super lightly. Even if I have like a super loaded mascara, I'll take off a lot of the product just to make sure I don't put that much on my eyelashes. But I also think that because this look is so simple, it would look really pretty with false eyelashes or if you do put a lot of mascara and your eyelashes are really like long and thick. And then for the main point, the, I guess the main point, is there really a point on this look? Uh, not really. Uh, I'm gonna use the I'm TikTok Tint Lips. Um, I'm gonna be using the main color is this beige color called uh, Innocent Beige. And it's perfect for this look actually because it smells like chocolate. <laughs> this is what actually inspired me to make this look. So you just wanna look for a lip product in your collection that's kind of a soft pink with hints of brown in it. I guess you, what you would call like a nude color. Anything that would suit for your skin tone, your nude color. And this is one of those matte tints. Okay, and now because of the, I think that looks a little too pink for this look in particular, I wanna warm it up. So I'm gonna use um, another one called Seductive Burgundy. This is what the first one looks like. And this one, like the name, it's a burgundy has a bit of brown, has a bit of red in it. And I'm gonna put that in the middle. Put it in the middle, kind of spread it between the top and bottom lip. So it warms up that first pink a little bit more. But of course, if you have one lip color that's just this color, then go ahead and use that. And then last but not least uh, is blush. I'm gonna use kind of dusty rose uh, sort of blush. Oh, my cheeks. I'm gonna place it kind of here. Let me. I'm gonna find a dusty, rosy, pinky sort of blush. And kind of place it here, around right here, ish. And take it up. But you want most of the color to be like right here. The formula of this blush is really solid and kind of hard, so you don't have to worry about um, putting on too much at once it's really easy to build up the color. So there's the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is one of those looks where you can kind of just tailor it to suit your face and your needs. You can maybe add eyeliner or something. You can add more blush. You can add highlighter if you want. I don't know, just do whatever you want. Um, but this is kind of like my take on like a Valentine's Day look. It would look really pretty on a girl's face, if I can tell you that. So <laughs> I hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day with either with your loved one or if you're alone, shit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.